Recently, Kanye's own actions have been leaving fans a bit puzzled about his lack of communication regarding his new album Vultures with Ty Dolla Sign, but thankfully we have trusted members of the community like Dealey to provide us with info, which is exactly what he did last night, so let's get into it and break everything down. Alright, so as with any Dealey dump, we need to address his credibility, especially because on this night he did admit to trolling a bit. Everything I'm gonna talk about from him he either confirmed was legit or I think is plausibly legit. And again, I've said this before, but Dealey is not with Kanye 24-7, his source is most likely with Kanye periodically working on music, which is when Dealey gets his updates, and he also admitted to pretty much never being around Kanye in real life. If you don't want to believe any of this, be my guest, but Dealey has had legitimate information in the past, which makes it worth covering what he said last night, albeit with a sizable grain of salt. Starting off, we have a bit of a confusing report. Dealey originally claimed that the song Dead, which was previously known as IG Models, featuring Future and Lil Durk, was set as the intro for Vultures Volume 2, and that there were still two separate projects worth of songs last he heard. This was reiterated by Lewitt, but challenged by Alec, who revealed that Dealey and Lewitt were going based off the file name for the song, which includes intro that refers to the song's elongated beginning portion with extra production that was played at the Vegas listening party. I think honestly in this situation, everyone is right. The intro in the file name does probably refer to the long beginning bit, and it was also probably pegged as the intro song for the second Vultures volume at one point, which is why Kanye played it first for the rave like he did with everybody in Miami. Dealey also revealed that Kanye had invited Baby Keem to collaborate in sessions in either April or late summer of this year, and that it was possible Kendrick was present, but he doesn't know for sure. Speaking of collaborators, according to Dealey, Kanye recently reached out to JPEG Mafia following his huge Twitter rant just a few days ago. Peggy really came for Kanye in these tweets, but Kanye does love when people call him out, so I think this claim is very plausible and probably true. On the topic of Kanye and Kid Cudi, besides Cudi speaking about how Kanye apologized to him in a new interview about Insano, Dealey told us that Cudi had recorded for more Vulture's songs than just Gun To My Head, which I think everyone probably could have guessed, but it's good to have confirmation. One thing that is certain to be different the next time Kanye plays Vultures for the public will be the production, and Dealey revealed that supposedly what we heard already at the raves was all watered down compared to what Kanye has available. Dealey notes that many songs have crazy drums and added choirs that we missed out on during the live shows, and that there are versions of Listening Party songs that have Kanye verses which didn't when played live. This would really only apply to Beg Forgiveness with Chris Brown. You should beg forgiveness. where Kanye had zero vocals at all. Even on songs like Talking with North and James Blake, Kanye did the spoken intro. Northy, come out and play. And on Matthew, the song with North and Charlie Wilson, Kanye is present harmonizing on the chorus and by himself at the end. I know it's a little boy standing by. Dealey also drops some lines from an unknown song, but this just confirms that he has heard the album and doesn't cap about specific info, despite having a strong affinity for trolling when people spam him with pings in Discord. Besides all the Dealey stuff, yesterday Ty Dolla performed everybody at an event in Saudi Arabia where he reaffirmed that Vultures would be coming soon. You know, we about to drop the new album Vultures real soon. And it is worth noting that everybody was unchanged except for the removal of all verses besides ties because it was just him at the performance. I would love to hear from you guys whether you trust what Dealey says or not in the comments. I know he's a controversial character, but I think it's undeniable that he has a source in Kanye's camp, and that makes it important to highlight information he reveals. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let me know down in the comments your reasons for why you do or do not trust Dealey as an insider.